Welcome to the Anthology Training Series. Today I'm going to go through purchasing and receiving. This is going to be a very basic overview, but should get you going with purchase orders. If you need additional instruction, please continue on in the playlist linked in the video. There are a couple of terms that I will use throughout the video. POs are purchase orders, and RMs are receiving memos. There are three things we are going to cover in this video. Checking your vendor setup, creating and posting a PO, and then receiving a PO through normal receiving. This video will not cover quick receiving or generating purchase orders. Please see the hands-on or continue with the playlist linked below. Let's get started. First, let's check to make certain our vendor is set up correctly. Open Master Files, Vendors, we are going to use Ingram since that is one of the more common vendors stores use. We can search for the vendor by typing in the provided search box. The only thing we are concerned with in this vendor file is the discount tab. Though it is helpful to have as much relevant information in the vi vendor file as possible including account numbers. Setting up vendors and electronic ordering are not covered in this video. As you can see, we do have a discount set up at 41% if the PO is less than $1,000 and 42% if the PO is more than $1,000. Next, let's create a PO. From inventory control, open purchase orders. Next, we click F4 new. We are going to set our vendor to Ingram, which you will set by either typing Ingram here which will search the relevant vendors, or you can simply click the ellipses next to the vendor field. As you can see, Ingram is select once Ingram is selected, it also pulls in the discount and account numbers from the vendor file. Then it is just a matter of entering in your items. This can be done by scanning barcodes or copying ISBNs from iPage or Amazon, however you build your POs. Once all your items are entered in and it is true and correct to the best of your knowledge, we can click post. If you are sending this PO electronically, the post step is slightly different. Please refer to the help system, hands-on, or the other videos in the playlist for more information. Please choose yes to print if you are sending this to a vendor via mail, fax, or email. Otherwise, you can click no. The PO step is for the items that you want. The vendor will then send you the items they have available, which you will receive in the next step. Close purchase orders and go to inventory control receiving. The PO number from the previous step will match the RM number in receiving. Find that PO number and double click. First thing I recommend doing is entering in the vendor invoice information under actions, vendor invoice info. This will correspond with the invoice in the box the vendor ships to you. It is also a good auditing tool as you will see shortly. Next we put the program into scan mode by clicking F3. Then we scan our books. It will increment received items as we go. Note the column RECD. Once we have scanned everything in our box, we can check our invoice total with our received total, which in this case looks good. Note that if there are any discrepancies between the received total and the invoice totals, these are usually caused by books having different discounts than the standard Ingram discount. Now we can click Post. If the vendor did not send you all of the items you requisitioned, those items will stay on the PO, which will keep the PO status as open. As you can see here when I go back to the list, we have two instances of that PO one showing open and one showing shipment. The shipment record is all the items we have already received and posted, while the open one will hold any items we have not yet received. We can view the outstanding items by double clicking the open PO and changing the show open items only option to on. Now we can choose what to do with them. Either leave them until your next shipment or we can choose to cancel them depending on how you handle back orders. And that is it for basic purchasing and receiving. Thank you for joining me for this quick tutorial on purchasing and receiving. If you have any questions, 
please feel free to comment below or email support at support at anthology.com. Thanks for watching.